and Jason is sort of a, a perfect uh, solution for us. We get a guy that's an impact player right now, um, but we also get a guy that uh, that fits in perfectly with that young core. I'm Matt Wehmeyer with the MLB.com FastCast. The Chicago Cubs officially introduced Jason Hayward on Tuesday after coming to an eight-year, $184 million contract agreement last weekend. The deal also reportedly includes two opt-out clauses, the first of which occurs after the 2018 season. Though the three-time Gold Glove outfielder has primarily played at right field in his six-year career, Hayward is expected to patrol center field for the Cubs, with free agent Dexter Fowler unlikely to return. Though Hayward signed a lucrative contract, the 26-year-old made it clear that money was far from the only factor in his decision to join the Cubs. It'd be a beautiful thing to win a World Series, for one. I'm a baseball player, and that's what I strive to do every year. And to do it in this city, it's, it's a no-brainer that you know, it would be making history. The Diamondbacks also unveiled one of their big offseason acquisitions on Tuesday as Shelby Miller spoke to reporters via conference call. The 25-year-old was acquired by Arizona via trade from Atlanta in exchange for a package which included outfielder Ender Inciarte and top overall 2015 draft pick Dansby Swanson. Despite a 3.02 ERA last season, Miller was often the victim of 4-1 support on a Braves team which finished dead last in the National League in one scored, contributing to a misleading 6-17 record. But with a potent Diamondbacks offense now behind him, Miller is looking forward to brighter days in 2016. When I first found out, you know, I was going to Arizona, I was, I was excited, you know, obviously the organization that's headed in the right direction, making some big moves to bring in some guys and, and uh, you know, trying to trying to get in the winning winning way and I'm excited to be a part of that and, and uh, couldn't be more happier about it. In a press conference held at the Pete Rose Sports Bar and Grill in Las Vegas, baseball's all-time hit king addressed Monday's decision by Commissioner Rob Manfred, which upheld Rose's lifetime ban from baseball. Sitting alongside his attorney, Mike Rosenbaum, Rose also discussed the small possibility that he could still one day reach the Hall of Fame, which was something not ruled upon by Manfred. I want baseball and Pete Rose to be friends. That's all I want from you. So I can say... Uh, I'm not an outsider looking in. The New York Mets did not have to look far to find a lefty specialist for their bullpen. The National League champions retained veteran southpaw Jerry Blevins with a one-year deal worth a reported $4 million. The 32-year-old made only seven appearances in his first season with the Mets in 2015, not yielding a run in five total innings of work. But he fractured his left forearm on a D. Gordon comebacker on April 19th then refractured it on a freak injury four months later when he fell off a curve, which finished his season. The nine-year veteran has a 3.53 career ERA over 352 appearances, all coming in relief. For more on these stories and the very latest hot stove activity, keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.